What's going on, Flair Fishing fam? Today, you guys are about to watch a very exciting video. Now, I already did this intro, like, when this video was filmed, but I completely messed it up. This is what it sounded like. So yes, as you can tell, y you can't hear anything, so I'm here to redo it and, uh, and talk about one quick, very important part of this video. Without these guys, this video would not be possible. Okay, this guy, right here. Hims. Without Hims, this video would not be possible. So for those of you guys that do not know what Hims is, it is a wellness brand dedicated to helping guys know that, you know, issues with hair loss is not weird, but not doing anything about it is, that's kind of weird. So through Hims, you will get personal recommendations for prescription and non-prescription products based on the advice of real doctors. Now Hims takes your privacy very seriously and they offer only the best affordable medical grade solutions for you personally. So if you're like me and you absolutely hate going to the doctor and just this, all this talk about like hair loss, it just, it makes you uncomfortable. If you're uncomfortable right now, trust me, I am just as uncomfortable. But I'm telling you guys, it is worth it to look into this stuff. Quick fact for you, 66% of men below the age of 35 are affected by hair loss. Let that just sink in for all you under 35 year olds that think you're just, you have not a worry in the world. I'm telling you guys, you got something to worry about. But before you freak out, this is what Hims can do for you. Now for just $5, you will get one month of the, this guy right here, the comprehensive hair kit, okay? Now this thing is up to a $67 value. You get shampoo, some hair regrowth treatment. That's all yours for just $5. Go to forhims.com slash flare. It'll be linked down down below without these guys I could not film this plane video so this I'll give you a quick just a quick little backstory I promise the video is coming so this is what happened I've always wanted to fly a drone over this lake this is the lake that I grew up fishing I fished it for the last six years you guys have seen dozens if not like maybe a hundred videos filmed at this exact lake and I've never been able to fly a drone because there's an airport right by it well huge shout out to Nicole for helping us out with this and uh, she is a pilot and was like hey I'll take you guys up so with the help of hymns we made it happen and uh, in this video you're gonna see me take a plane to go to a lake to go fishing and it's gonna be pretty epic that's essentially what happened today eventually morning sunshine good morning you excited? Yeah, you got a bloody nose already? We're not even there. Yeah, I got a bloody nose. You know, John? John and I just had a little bit of a disagreement this morning, whether the eggs were gonna be over easy or scrambled, and he just hit me with the right hook, and it was all over from there. Dude, do you have a seatbelt in here? Two hours later. Oh, good gosh. Oh, this place is nice. This is actually a lot bigger than I expected. We are in Council Bluffs, Iowa right now. We made the boys. It peace. We made it. Austin drove, unfortunately. Never again. That kid will never drive a vehicle for the rest. Anytime I'm with him, he'll never be driving. I don't care. We were taking an airplane fishing. That's the plan today, right now, is private airplane bass fishing challenge. Is this it? What are we doing here? Look at all these. Look at all these planes. So many to choose from. This is it? Yeah. Oh, God. So I'm going to have to pre flight it first. Okay. we go in to make sure, you know, <laughs> nothing's wrong. Wow, this is, uh, okay. Well, this is what, this is. Hey, don't bend too close. <laughs> don't turn the brown. <laughs> Look at this, that's what we're rolling with. This is gonna be interesting. Never, never been in any of these. Out of all the airplanes I've ever been on, never been in something like this before. Buddy's taking off over there. We gotta do a pre-flight check. And then we're sending it over to my all-time favorite lake in Nebraska. You guys stay tuned. Oh wow, that's a far drop. Okay, there's a step. We're good. Wow, wow, we folks. Wow, that was uh. Okay, the planes. Ro okay, that was interesting. We made it to Wahoo, Nebraska. This is where we're gonna be fishing today. Look at it. <laughs> Kiss the ground. Land. We live. We made it. Woo. How was it? 
awesome. Then it crashed. Were you freaking out a little bit? Oh, just a little. Just at the beginning when we were taking off. But it was good. It was good. You did great. You. you did awesome. Thank you very Thank much. You. That was incredible. Now, my truck and boat are actually parked down in the parking lot. So we got to get that, get a little bit of food because we haven't eaten yet. And then we're going to go fishing, catching big bass. That was, uh, that was exciting. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know in the comments. I mean, I don't know if I'll ever do that again. But if you enjoyed it, let me know. 12 seconds later. Dude, it is so clean. This is unreal. I ain't never seen it like this. What crank did you put on? Did you tie one on yet? Put on like a... I got one. We're hooked up. We're hooked up. Biggins. Biggins on the bridge. Biggins only. Oh, wow. Wow. Yup. Wow. Big. Doing big things for your country, Flair. Big things. Here we go. Oh, I forgot there was like a camera behind me. I should probably talk to that one, huh? We are out here catching biggins only. He's got a little bit of blood on him. He choked that little crank. We're gonna say goodbye. See you later, Junior. Now that was on, I'll show you. That was on the old chartreuse. Water's looking a little blue. So throwing the chartreuse today, just kidding. It's actually gin clear. This is not ideal at all. You really should be throwing like a natural color, like a bluegill, but I mean, it caught fish. So I'm gonna stay with it. I think Mindax gonna be throwing some bluegill and Austin's gonna be throwing a little T-rig, some plastic action gonna spice it up fish these rocks a little bit though i think i think that's where the fish are gonna be right now you literally can't see anything about glass and glass. you got one is john hooked up yep really yep okay okay he's hooked up he's hooked up how big is it not that big he's running at me oh look at him scoot scoot oh my gosh this is what happens when you go fishing with me it's not on the old t-rig why are they so squeaky today? oh my god i never catch squeakers here like this I don't know. We're always biggins. Yeah, not that, not that big. Well, that's the second fish. What was yeah. that on? Show, Just the T-rig there. Little T-rig. Courtesy of Milliken. Hey, Milliken's uh, oh, boat bottom. Oh, it was bottom. Milliken's. Yeah, this is this is from Milliken's okay. boat, but whatever. Right. What do you name All right. that one? This one's name's Jesse. All right. See you later, Jesse. A few moments later. I feel so much more comfortable fishing this. Yeah, because then they don't see you. And you can just rip right. black. Have a camel boat, right? right there, right there. Bass. Get in here. Woo! Yes, sir. On the chatterbait. So that's why you come up here, boys. This is where the biggins are. Biggins only. Come on now. Come on now. Yes. We we made the jaunt up north. This guy's barely hooked. Up to the muddy water. This water's real muddy. As you can tell, they're kind of pale. They got a nice pale color to them here. And, uh... That was like the second cast. It was like the first good cast I made on this bridge. You guys have seen me fish this bridge many, many times. There's so many boats down on the on the south end where all the um, all the clear water was. So we came up here. Beautiful, beautiful fish. All right, Brandon. See you later, buddy. There's plenty more under that bridge. I've caught like five fish at a time under here. Just keep keep bombing her. Yep. They just they just hide out. That's the only cover. Like really, bef until they get back here. And they go back, so they they go back here to feed because there's water dumping in. So there's like tons of bluegills, and and then they come here because it's the only cover. There's zero cover back there, so it's a big flat. And right now it's like 10 feet right where the patrolling motor is. So the channel runs right through here. So they've got deep water access. They got food, and then they got cover. There you go. Oh, that's nice, dude. It feels decent. It feels decent. Ah. Johnny boy, you're hooked up. Uh oh. What do we got? How big is it? Not that. Ah! Uh, better than my first one, I'll tell you that right now. Give her a nice flipper rooski, eh? Where is she at? Where is she at? South Dakota flip. Oh, yeah, actually, oh, actually, it's not bad. That's a good one. All right, all right, we're gonna go for flip here. Oh, you got her. Ooh! Oh, dude, that's not a bad one. That's why you come north. That's where the biggins are. Oh, easy there. That was on the same bridge on yep, the same, same side. bridge. He told me to flip back in there. I was like, all right. He was giving some like weird explanation, really like smart explanation why they're under there. So just uh, AF teach me how it's done. Oh man, that looks like a, oh, that's a bobber. That's what I really need. Big bobber guy. Give that to me. Big bobber guy. There's one. Got him. Oh. Come back here, buddy. Woo! No, come back here, buddy. In the, in the boat. Woo! Yes, sir. There we go. There we go, folks. Look at that. That was flipping the old black and blue creature bait. Beautiful little guy. That was in the brush. I think we are going to have very good luck. Look at their tail. 
got a little little blood action. So these guys are thinking about spawning in the bushes. As you can tell, like it looks like Hurricane Katrina is about to hit, so that's good. Fish should start munching. All right, Samantha, see you later, girl. There's one. That's a good one. There we go. Flipping. Get up here, baby. Woo! Another fleet fish. Got another one, baby. Another flip fish. Oh, the boat's about to crash. All right. See you later. Uh, give me a name, Austin. Miranda. See you later, Miranda. Dude, these fish are these fish are getting kachowed. I'm kachowing these fish. Hi, right, folks. Well, Austin, Austin's not a big bait caster guy, so. Um, and the wind is coming and we gotta leave because, yep, as you can tell, there's a big storm coming. So we gotta get Austin to fish before we leave though. And uh, so I'm gonna cast and then he's gonna catch the fish. There's one, there's one. Set the hook, set the hook. Set the hook! You didn't set the hook, Richard! All right, we'll get another one, get another one. So like 10 times harder than that? Way harder, dude. Eventually. Well, folks, we are back inside the house. House. Wow, this is this is a vehicle flare, believe it or not. And uh, we are ready to head home for uh, Hurricane Katrina approaches. She's coming in hot. We had one opportunity for uh, for Austin to catch a fish, and what happened was it basically it swam so quickly towards towards Austin when he had it that when he set the hook. It was just slack because the fish had moved so so quickly, which happens all the time in bass fishing. So that's pretty much what happened there. But we're gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. We wanted to mix it up instead of just going bassing. You know, why not take an airplane to go bassing? So huge shout out to Nicole for helping us out uh, with that and you know flying us there and not killing us. Appreciate that. And huge shout out to uh, to Hims for you know making this all possible. They were the reason why we were able to take this plane and uh, and do this. You know, I have never flown a drone over this because there is an airport right by so it was really cool to see kind of the layout of this lake from a bird's eye view and uh and now i kind of better i better better understand this lake as far as like you know what's shallow what's not stuff like that places i haven't been there's still places on this lake i've never explored so i kind of got to somewhat explore that from the sky that's basically what happened today but if you guys enjoyed this little mix up of a plane vlog or whatever let me know in the comment section down below make sure you smash that like button and uh that's pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoyed peace we're going on a trip in our